Hello, my name's Lewis Round and this is the F1 Update. So we'll start off then with the European Grand Prix at Valencia Street Circuit and out of those five races we've had at Spain, that is the best Grand Prix we have ever had there. Um, races in the past have been a procession. Even last year's was, before this year's, the best one. It still lacked the, uh, the magic and uh, great overtaking that occurred in the other races in 2011. But this year has been so great that even the dullest races in the past have turned out to be what could be a classic. Well, Vettel looked very good in uh, Valencia. He was flying three tenths clear of anyone else, which in this season alone is a huge gap. And in the race, a similar outcome. He was 10, then 20 seconds at one point clear of the nearest rival of Romain Grosjean, who did a fantastic start, and the Lotus looked very quick as well. The race was starting to die out. There was an incident with Bruno Senna and Kobayashi, but apart from that, nothing really going on. And I was thinking, there needs to be a safety car to spice things up. And indeed, we got it when uh, Jean-Éric Verne did a stupid move, in my opinion, down a straight, overtaking Heki Kovalainen, and just turned right on him. The debris uh, meant the safety car had to come out for the marshals to clear it up. Well, after the restart, Alonso, who came from 11th on the grid, uh, through the field, he was up into third, and got second at the restart, going around the outside of Grosjean, almost touching. And then drama, right before the end of the lap, Vettel just seemed grinded to a halt and was out of the race. A race that he was dominating in very much similar circumstances, similar ways to last year. Out. And this meant Alonso was in the lead. Uh, Grosjean was closely following him and we were all thinking Grosjean here is in the quicker car. He could get by. But then a similar problem with Grosjean. Now it turned out it was a Renault issue that caused Grosjean and Vettel to just stop on the track, the engine just cut out randomly, and it turns out it was the uh, Renault's, uh, Renault supplied alternator that had failed both on Vettel's and Grosjean's cars. Were they, did they, were they kicked off by the safety car, but the fact that the cars were so, for quite a long period as well, uh, at a slow pace, and then by the fact that them going back to race pace and they overheating issues perhaps. But this then gave Alonso a clear, uh, clear gap and uh, an easy victory was on the cards. Kimi Raikkonen though was harassing Lewis Hamilton and about five laps to the end Hamilton's rear tyres had completely gone. He couldn't get traction out of the corners. Uh, it looked like he was suffering with a puncture. That's how badly it was getting for the Brit. And Marlon made his move. Hamilton was being very aggressive with his defending but fair at the same time. Um, he went to the inside defender's line, squeezed Maldonado off. It was the wrong thing to do Maldonado. He was off the track. He should have broke, slowed down, and got back onto the racing line. He said he didn't. He tried still making the move stick, went over the kerb, hit Hamilton's rear, spinning him out of control in the air briefly as well before hitting the tyre barriers. Michael Schumacher got his first podium. Now, uh, Schumacher, that's going to uh, fuel speculation into whether he's going to sign a contract for next year. No uh, contract has been uh, discussed yet with the team. Most probably, the similar sort of time they will be discussed is when Hamilton's will be during the summer break. But Vettel and Red Bull do look very strong. Uh, that, I think, is the main, apart from Alonso winning um, and all the incidents that occurred, the fact that Red Bull, the, the car 70% new, looks very strong. And it could be, especially at Silverstone, where it's all about having good, strong downforce car will win. I think Red Bull will look odds on favour. It's something, I think this could be the start of... Uh, uh, something new in 2012, which could put away the excitement, might not, but um, the other teams need to pick up, and especially McLaren. They weren't on it at all in Valencia. They were they were off the pace, struggling. Um, they haven't been giving bringing enough sufficient upgrades, and it's very similar to the last couple of years. Starting the season well, and then as the year progresses, they start to fall back and struggle, and the upgrades that they give to put on their car don't work out. Jensen Button is struggling all of a sudden. Lewis Hamilton as well. He's been doing a much better job and it doesn't seem to have affected him but the team is struggling at the moment and is Silverstone going to make a difference? Who knows? 
I think it's very much going to be still between Red Bull, Lotus and Ferrari for outright pace. Like I said with Valencia, I thought Ferrari and Red Bull were going to be the two teams. I thought McLaren would be there or thereabouts, but I just had a feeling they weren't going to be strong. Well, that's it for this week's F1 update. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back next week, as always, with the preview of the British Grand Prix. Um, check out www.lewisroundf1.co.uk, as well as Lewis Round F1 on Facebook and Twitter. That's it for this week's edition of the F1 update. But as I said, I'll be back next week for more news. And until then, have a great week. Mm -hmm.